Bogo Indian defense, Vitolin's variation. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Opening with the Queen's Pawn. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. Nf3 strengthens the d4 piece and moves the knight closer to the center while exerting more control over the e5 square. e6 sets up the d7 d5 pawn push and creates openings for the bishop on the dark squares. c4 gains space on the queen side and center, and prepares to develop the knight to c3. By doing this, a bishop moves out of its beginning square and into the action. Bd2 stops the check and offers to exchange dark squared bishops. C5 takes space in the center, attacks the d4 pawn and defends the bishop on b4. This exchange is fair. Backs off. The bishop is prepared to grow into a functional square. The bishop will be better off as a result of this. By positioning the bishop on a potent diagonal, this fianchettos the bishop. As a result, the bishop grows and gains flexibility on the long diagonal. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. Castling develops a rook, while also moving the king to safety. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent tends to lead to less sharp positions as compared with opposite side castling. By doing this, a queen moves off of its beginning square and into the action. It is the final book action. A powerful play. It is quite good. That is a logical response. It is quite good. This poses the risk of producing a passed pawn. It is ideal. Recaptures. That's good. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. It is quite good. The knight can now control more squares as a result. That's good. Among the best actions. It is quite good. A wise decision. It is quite good. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. That's a decent move. That's good. A rook enters the action after developing outside of its starting square as a result. That is good. It's alright. That's good. This requires an outpost, a square that is currently in play where a pawn cannot push the knight off. It is ideal. The pawn is now suitably protected. It is quite good. When a rook retreats, this attack wins a tempo. That's good. This attacks a knight and gains a tempo when the knight retreats. That's good. The knight is now located at an outpost, a safe area inside the enemy's territory. It is ideal. This defends a piece that is being attacked but is not well defended. It is quite good. This accomplishes this by posing a threat to a rook and compelling it to flee. It is quite good. This buys time by putting a knight in danger and getting it to flee. It is ideal. This requires an outpost, a square that is currently in play where a pawn cannot push the knight off. It is ideal. This protects the attacked pawn. It is good. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players.